My name is Sharon Willems. I am from the US originally, and I've been over in the UK now for about 14 years. My name is Leo, a Romanian. I have been living in London for 11 years. I make theatre. Barronscourt Court Theatre is in West London, so we're really close to Barron's Court too and West Kensington too. We're basically right in the middle of the two. Barron's Court Theatre is a pub theatre that has existed in this very place since 91, so that's 31 years. And it has been in our hands, Aaron and mine's respectively, for roughly one year now. We just took over, really it was the tail end of the pandemic, pandemic proper, whatever that means, but essentially it was in 2021, um, the theatre hadn't reopened yet. It became opportunity for us because for poor Chris was running the space before us, the pandemic hit him quite hard, so not as much as opportunity for him because he sort of didn't want to continue, he passed it on to us. It's just a room, it's four empty walls if it's not theater happening. This place has been looked after, but it hasn't been loved. Before we got in here, it needed a bit of love. I'm the artistic director of Barron's Court Theatre and Kiva Productions. And I think the joys of running the space is we, we can define them the way that we want to. I'm the lesser half, let's put it this way. You know, the Sharon is mostly in charge of the artistic directions, whereas I'm more in charge of the minutiae, the manual task, change a light bulb, sweep the stage, um, repair stuff that breaks. We've been replacing a lot of the lights. You know, like I mentioned, the online bookings. What's your name, please? Obviously, we'd love to also do a bit for the dressing room. I personally want to find a way to make the stairwells more accessible. Everything, it's always good to repaint stuff. And we've had some issues with the plumbing. You know, it's not sometimes you can't do much about situations. But this is all fluff. This is all nice to have rather than necessary. But replacing the chairs is necessary. The seats um, needing to be replaced because they're from like the 1920s. The fundraising campaign is really because we very quickly identified that in order to make this space more welcoming. So if you know someone that's got 20,000 to spare, uh, 20,000 pounds to spare, yes, um, uh, we're looking to raise 20,000 pounds to replace the city. It's not a theatre unless theatre happens in, in here. When we first came in, and still now actually, the main challenge is to make theatre. Um, it's great. Can you watch everyone set up Christmas? It's my turn, it's my turn. And then you finally take it out, and then you put on the tree. What are you going to do about that? Is that all you've got? So I wanted to have an event that would be a mixture of, of that, that would be about opening access to the arts and also about getting creative together. Looking at the idea of the audience and feedback as something that could be really positive even when it's critical. So the Sunday Fix is really about that, about providing a space where we could start to build that network. We could start to invite people who maybe hadn't been on stage since the pandemic, who felt really rusty to come and do some reading in a very low risk environment, a supportive environment. It's serious, but you can even have a little bit of anger in you. I think Dora's little is quite angry when she says that sentence. Like, your appearance is a commodity. Like, isn't that the truth? Fair because he felt it was very fair to you, stood by you. Right, that's, I, that's what I'm getting. I don't want to do that. Yeah, so just yeah. Something. In right. a way, like I, I did a favor to you. Yeah. Do you remember when I yeah. protested because they wanted to kill you because you were killing Irishmen? Yeah. And like I stood up for you 
why I did not send it back for dinner. Right, right, right. Yeah, what's the thing? Now you're going to learn the hard way. Gorgeous. That would help writers get to that next stage, get them excited about sitting back down and rewriting, because so much of writing is rewriting. Ooh. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for being here for the Sunday Fix. Um, I think it's our ninth or tenth. Um, thank you to those that are new, thank you to those that are coming back. Um, we're glad that you're all here. Sunday Fix is really about getting creative together, sharing information, breaking down barriers. And so today we're going to see three plays in development and do some very gentle feedback with them afterwards. Well done, well done guys. Wow. First uh, responses, first observations. Yes. Maybe homesick. <laughs> Are they going to be all together all the time, or is it like temporary? Because I think it's different dynamics. Like for example, if it's lunchtime and they have to be here for this type of scenario, or if they are going to sit together for a year, two, three. A couple of hours talking about scripts and enjoying that and enjoying that part of, of theatre, you might just connect with that person and then you might now have a contact you can write to at that building. Thank you guys so much for your hard work today. Thank you so much for staying with us. Welcome to come to a Christmas Carol. Welcome to come to Reboot Festival, which is next week. Um, we have six new pieces. Um, roughly 15 to 20 minutes each um, from writers all over the place, um, all, all around the UK as well as international writers work in translation even. So come back for Reboot if you have time. Reboot was really just us going, my goodness, there's so many people who have not been able to be on stage since the pandemic, even those that have been lucky enough to go on to shows now that we've been opening up. So we wanted to, to kind of celebrate being back together and I guess reboot people's creativity, their love for the industry and for telling stories. I think I have a bit more of a contribution because I have a say in selecting the scripts. A reboot Festival, so we're doing the second edition this year. This year, We've done it because a lot of people were asking us if we, we were going to do it again. Theatre without an audience is just mental breakdown. People don't need to be here. They, like, we need to make them want to be here. Prove it. Go on then. Prove they give a fuck. 
Why fuck about you? About anyone? Oh, hear me, our masters! Kill her! She's a thief! She steals from the faithful! <laughs> we knew that they hated us, and we were supposed to hate them, but we didn't know why. We didn't even know why they were there in the first place, but they were a part of our everyday lives. Do you hear me? You're not being without me! I will rise! Not me! I will fly! Chase the wind and touch the sky! I will fly! Chase the wind and touch the sky! Freedom! <laughs> na 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 I'm very lucky to have a good partnership with Leo. We work very well together. We both have very similar ethics. We've been together as a couple for a long time, so there's a lot of trust. We talk about things really openly sometimes. <laughs> you have to have that with a partner. I don't think anyone can do it alone. Sharon and I met on a film set quite appropriately, a short film that sort of we worked together. You know, you click with people common interests, find it amazing how much when we talk about shows that we see nowadays, so we'd go to a theater. We believe in the same things, we believe in inclusivity, we believe in making art as sort of a purpose in itself. We believe in equality, we believe in sharing power, in yeah, equality of rights, equality of opportunities borderless views on stuff. We hope that we are identifying artists that are going to continue to make work that's going to impact the ecology of the London theatre scene for time to come. But first is about just giving an opportunity, so that's what we're about. I think they're doing so like such a good job with it, um, and they're putting on like a huge variety of different things and it's very, very exciting. I think the amount of opportunities that they give young creatives and the fact that they have a lot of courage to just put on plays from emerging companies um, and they really try to, to support new talent and um, particularly foreign actors, which as I've said, it, it's a great thing because that's not that common in this industry. <laughs> We're in a decent position right now in terms of the shows. We've had some really great shows come through this year. We're excited about what we're programming for next year. I like to hope that if we do a lot of small things, we will get to a big result at the end. I am fully aware that we need to do some big things. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. I can't complain because like, I'm literally doing what I love. And I'm literally doing it in a city that I think is amazing and hopefully empowering other artists like me who came from wherever, who have a story, to have a, a creative home. So I can't really complain because I'm just very, very lucky. Whoa!